Hi everybody, this is Rabbit Hope, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Dead by Daylight patch, the 1.5.0 patch. Um, they fixed a few issues, some I'm just going to name off, the spectate issue, the killer's equip being able to equip any power issue, collision at the collisions at the blood lodge issue, um, apparently you were able to repair the generator from the side in the blood lodge and they fixed a few menu typos those are some of the basic uh, things that they've changed in the most recent patch um, one of the things that they've changed in the patch was they updated decisive strike again now um, because apparently whenever you were the obsession it wasn't working properly it was either inactive or just didn't activate at all. So they're saying that they fixed that, but they say that they fix a lot of things that don't get fixed. Programming is hard though, I will give them that, and it is a pretty good game despite some of the flaws it may have. Um, one of them being balancing issues. Uh, one of the things I find irritating about the decisive strike is now the trigger for it is at random. I was halfway through my struggle before it popped up, which makes it harder to predict, harder to use. What's the point in using it, especially if somebody has Iron Grasp? If it randomly pops up halfway through, you're probably already at the hook if they have Iron Grasp. Anyways, as you can tell, I play as a survivor most of the time, so whenever they change something that affects the survivors in a major way, it kind of really irritates me beyond all belief. Um, another thing that they're planning on changing soon that deals with the survivor's survival is the healing, which is going to affect a lot of the perks they have. Uh, one of those being the, how you're able to heal fully and completely a bunch of times. You won't be able to do that anymore. They're going to make a weakened state where you're only able to heal once fully. The rest of the time you'll be limping around. Um, so basically the rest of the game you'll be able to be hit once. So it doesn't matter if they have no one escapes death because you're probably gonna be dead by the end of it anyways. It'll be easy for killers to get quad kills after this, especially after they update the hooks, which I will talk about later in this video as well. Um, now the reason I know this is one of the things they probably will add in later on in the game is because some of the head designers for the game really like this idea. Of course they like it. They like anything that has to do with making the survival even harder than it was before. Some of their gamers that they have that test their games have had extreme troubles testing out this new thing that they're planning on adding in the game. It makes it more difficult for them. So for amateurs like me, it's going to be impossible. So, yes. I'm irritated about this. Um, I don't understand why they would do something like this if they put in a perk where you're able to self-heal. They might as well just take that perk away. Take away the adrenaline perk. It's really irritating. Alright, anyways. Um, Alright, let's continue. The next things they added in the patch were the Doll Totem, which is now worth 400 to 600 points, that's what they changed in the patch, and the Hex Totem. The Hex Totem is 800 to 1000 points if it destroyed. Um, another thing they changed with the Totems is the Totem Cleanse. It's now 14 seconds instead of 10. And then on top of that they've changed the Bloodlust Decay. Now it's 20% a second rather than 10% a second, which comes to a total maximum of 5 seconds for the decay. And the bloodlust will now decay within 5 seconds, or that's what it says. I mean, it could take longer, could take less time, it's probably just an estimate on their part. The next thing they've changed was the... Unbreakable glitch, 
where it would be consumed before you got the chance to use it. They're supposed to have fixed that in this patch. And the last thing on the list was they changed the hook sabotage speed from 20 seconds to 15 seconds. Hopefully when they come out with the hook regeneration per <laughs> regeneration thing, it'll move from 15 seconds down to like 10 or 5 seconds to destroy a hook because it's going to regenerate after 2 minutes, which is freaking ridiculous. Anyways, <laughs> it's going to be 10 times as hard. This will also nullify the sabotage perk, which is going to be useless after this. They say you can use it tactically, but if it takes 15 seconds for you to destroy a hook, then by the time you get the hook even close to destroyed, they'll already have the survivor to that hook or they'll have changed direction and gone to another one. When they update the hooks to being able to be regenerated, which seems like they're also planning on doing that one, not a guarantee. Again, not a guarantee for the weakened state, not a guarantee for the hook regenera regeneration, but if you watch their videos, it does seem like they're going to guarantee that this is going to happen. Just in the way they say it, and the way they love to screw over the survivors, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so, as much as I love this game, it pisses me off to the maximum. My apologies for cussing, I'm just sick of some of these updates and patches they're planning on putting in. But, I love to torture myself with these games, so I look forward to the newest challenge, despite the fact that I'm going to hate myself for even trying the game after they add in these new updates. Hopefully, for the weakened state perk, it'll be after the third full heal, which would be way better than being able to only heal once, because most of the time in the game you get hit a maximum of five times, so three seems like a pretty good number. Otherwise, the killer's going to be getting quad kills right and left and nobody's going to be going for the saves. If you get hooked, you're dead. Nobody's going to save you. Because killers are just going to camp the hooks. The only ones who don't camp are going to be the only ones probably not getting a quad kill after this is added in. <sighs> and with the hook regeneration, that's also going to screw us over. Hopefully they add in some other things that will counteract this later on, which I'm sure they will, and then they'll balance it out again to where you hate yourself for playing the game. But we love this game and we keep coming back to it no matter how much it loves to torture us. Huh. That was a lot. Alright, and that's it for my 1.5.0 talk for the patch. Oh, it's patch 1.5.0. My bad. Um, that's it for my talk for the 1.5.0 patch. I'm not even going to bother editing any of this out because somebody needs to rant about this. But I'm going to continue to play the game and continue to torture myself. Hopefully they'll balance it out to where the game is a much better game later on. <sighs> Anyways, bye everybody and have a wonderful day. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Make sure to check out my second channel. I'll be doing vlogs and stuff from there. Um, 